Hi guys, I'm Maritza with the Music Industry Club and behind the camera is Jordan. Today we are here with Black Hero. How was it performing tonight? Yo, I was having fun. I should be asking you, how was the performance? <laughs> but um, I was having fun. The stage was beautiful. The crowd was beautiful. And it's Long Beach, you know, it's never a dull day. Yeah, yeah we were watching your set from backstage and it was incredible. You're killing out there. Uh, so was there anyone that you were really excited to see this weekend? Ah, uh, yeah, a few people. I wanted to see uh, Wiz Khalifa for sure, uh, Loot and Fire, Carbon. Uh, you can't go wrong with Shaggy and Sean Paul, Damian Marley. It's like damn near everybody. I don't know who. Everybody is dope. Like the the lineup is solid this year. Gwen Stefani, of course. Like I've never seen her before. So those are my picks. Yeah, yeah those are. I mean, solid picks. Solid I, we were we were able to catch. Yo. We were able to catch a little bit of so a little lot. bit of everybody. You gotta be running out. I'm catching. I'm, I'm yeah, catching I think. Culture. Yeah, I think running. that's what we did. I think yeah. we par pretty much just like watched one half and then like and ran to the other side yeah, to like watch like another that. one. Yeah. Um, so as for creating music, is there something in particular that you just love? Like your favorite part when it comes to being creative and like putting your thoughts into music? I think my favorite space overall. I love everything uniquely, but my favorite space is the studio. I feel like when whenever we get to sit and really channel something that doesn't exist into existence, I feel like that's that's like a superpower. So I give thanks to be even be able to do that. So making music is my favorite part. Yeah. And is there something in particular that made you want to start making music? Like, what was it that inspired you to like jump into this? Hmm, that's a great question. I feel. What it is is just like being, especially from a culture, Jamaica, where everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, the music is a part of us. It's like our food. We eat it like rice and beans. Like, So I think that just being in that space and then also having parents. My mom was a singer, having parents that love music. And really, I think every musician just wanted to hear something different and just ended up doing that i just wanted to hear i was like yo why can't I hear this on the radio why can't I hear this why can't I hear so i'm gonna just do it so yeah. i think that's ultimately the, the last is there something in particular i've been asking a lot of the artists this, that when it comes to being authentic and authentically yourself when it's creating your music how do you do that in an industry that so tries to put people in a box tries to put artists in like a specific mm. a genre mm. why how do you do that when you're trying to cross and like make multiple genres like into one piece of art all right, that's a great question because for me that's always been something people worry about because i'm so like ambitious but people always worry i lose the roots but now they understand it like oh he got it but um i think really the key is to know yourself go through that grueling happy fun sad time of learning yourself learning your roots i really sat down and understood like my dad and my mom what what's in me what these two people came to make me all right i'm gonna understand that i'm gonna understand my culture i'm gonna understand and then figure myself in that and then once you know yourself, you can, what did um, Bruce Lee say? You'd be like water. <laughs> <laughs> You'd just be able to go in any space and still remain water, but be able to fill that space. You know what I mean? So I think once you know yourself, you'll be good. And also for me, I don't really write. I don't write. I will jot it down just to remember it or something, but I don't write. So it, it just comes from within. So it has to be real. Like I can't make up. I can't say, oh, I got a Bugatti. I ain't got a Bugatti. I have to sing about what's happening to me. So that's how I do it. Yeah, that's so real, and especially in this industry, I think authenticity is such an amazing thing, and it's and it's what people what makes people get big. It makes it make what makes everyone feel real, you know. It yeah, makes yeah, the yeah. music actual music. So part of our club is that we are trying to build up the next generation of people that are working in music, whether that be music creatives or that business side of it. So whether that's your managers, your tour managers, whatever it may be. So what is advice that you have for someone that's trying to break into this industry or trying to work in this industry? Man, I, I always said to myself when I do interviews, I won't do the cliches, but you know, it's just real. It's just the truth. These things I'm about to say, we've all heard it, but man, if you really lock in on them, it, don't waste your time like me. Just believe. No man is an island. That's the first thing. Surround yourself with the right people. Take your time and painstakingly pick the right, the right people. If you put the wrong people on a ship, that ship will sink. So first thing, find the right team understand what field you're going into it could be music art being a manager whatever whatever your field what, whatever the tools and the expertise that you need to know go know it find the right team execute 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 there's always going to be a fire to put out execute always going to be somebody saying shit execute always going to feel like you're about to give up execute and that's it really 
yeah yeah that's beautiful i mean that's something that we always preach to everybody so I, just hearing it from you is a really great Let's thing do it. and for our final question is there anything that we can look forward to seeing from you oh man um i put out my, my debut album last year so i'm about to drop a deluxe of it this year with a lot more features you know can't hint hit nothing right now it's too a couple of them is too big but um yeah just more music more videos more shows i'll be on sierra nevada music fest this year main stage also be going to europe and just all over and anybody that's tapping in like i'm always dropping exclusive stuff merch vinyls like i'm thinking about probably doing books voiceover animation kids stuff so i'm trying to just this whole space of california and touring and being here has opened up my mind as to just who i really can be so i want everybody to join the journey so just follow it yeah so you heard it here follow him look at what he's doing he's doing everything so yeah we're good w so w much. W